Welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, currently on a Delta connection flight from Boise into Seattle, where I'll be picking up my first ever WestJet flight. So first up today is the WestJet Encore Q400. It's currently 1027 and my next flight departs at 1230, uh, probably boarding at 12. It is a Q400, as I mentioned on the earlier flight. So I believe I have time to visit the uh, Priority Pass Lounge, which in Seattle is the club at SEA, or club at Seattle, or club at whatever. Oh, I've never actually been there. It's down by A11, which is roundabout on the way to S1, where I will be departing from. So let's go take a look at the club at SEA, and uh, yeah, let's go. As you can see, I've sped up the terminal walk from B down to A11 where the club is. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and the reminder bell, you'll be kept up to date on all my travels. And if you enjoy what I've done today, please consider giving this video a like as well. Thanks so much for that and let's get into the club. I'll have about an hour here at the club. So I got that going for me, which is good. So fairly standard fare in the club. Managed to find some hard boiled eggs and I'll probably grab a banana before we leave. So I get access to the club at SEA with my priority pass. Priority pass is one of the perks of the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. I think I'm gonna forego the Delta Sky Club membership this year and see how the priority pass treats me. I'm all done at the club at SEA. So I'm headed over to S1A for my WestJet Encore flight. Just see the tail back behind the jet bridge. It is currently 11.35 and we will be boarding about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go have a pit stop because once I'm in my Q400 seat, I don't think I'm gonna be getting up. And based on the weather, it could be pretty choppy. Could be fun. Stay tuned, find out next. I was on my way to the bathroom when they called my name. I have to go get my passport and documents verified. So let's go do that. And then we'll go have a pit stop. I have my WestJet boarding pass. I'm good to go to Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh. About five minutes to boarding or embarkment as my boarding pass says. 
just make out the back end of my Q400 C-GPWE. We gotta go outside. I always like going out on the ramp. This is definitely a highlight. Oh, Q400. First time on a non Alaska Q400. Man, I'm getting rained on though. I wish I would have wore a hat. serving friend but uh, it's a long walk so I expect there'd be somebody mm -hmm. onboard menu Pringles gummy bears gummy bears are gluten-free we'll do that hummus simply deli crisp gluten-free crackers soft cheese wedges and the turboprops generate. Uh, if you like airplanes or an app geek, you need to try it at least once, but uh, be prepared. It's, it's quite a different experience. I can't say I really miss it. I used to do this a lot. Uh, they don't fly Q400s in and out of Boise anymore. Uh, regardless of that, it is snack time. And so let's see what they've got for me. We got a snack box and a Diet Coke. I have no idea what's in the snack box, so I'm kind of taking a flyer here. But stay tuned, we will have the snack du jour. So the snack box was actually pretty good for me. Um, 
like on the Delta flight, a made good granola bar. I can have that. Uh, that's all good. Some almonds. Um, pretty sure that's all good. A mento. Turns out mentos are on the do not eat list. There's some sort of gluten or something in those. Oop. And a little chocolate, which I'm assuming has milk in it, so that's off limits for me. May contain milk. May. And of course, it is post COVID, so you get a little wipe. So there we go for that. It's that time again. Time for the snack du jour. Uh, what is snack du jour? It's the snack of the day. Mm. That sounds good. I'll have that. But the snack du jour today is Bobo's peanut butter chocolate chip oat bite. It's a little muffin kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's very dense and filling. So there's the Bobo. Little brand muffin. And let's try it out. It's fairly dense. It's really good to have a drink with it. Tastes good, but it's very dense. Nothing to see outside, just clouds. That's disappointing. Hopefully the the pilot said the, it was clear in Calgary, so hopefully uh, it does clear up as we get closer and I can see some of Canada. Yay! If you find yourself on a Q400, may I recommend noise canceling headphones and or earplugs. It's a loud airplane. Um, there's no getting around the fact how loud this thing actually is. Welcome to sunny Calgary. The local time is 3.09 p.m. As we taxi to the gate, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and all carry-on baggage stowed until the aircraft is parked at the gate and the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Smoking is only permitted in designated smoking areas. You may now connect your personal electronic device to a network. Any guests that require the cruise assistance leaving the aircraft are asked to remain seated until all other guests have deplaned and we are better able to assist you. Use caution when leaving the aircraft as there's limited head clearance at our exits. If you were to have any questions about connecting flights or baggage, please speak to a WestJet agent inside the terminal who will be happy to assist you. On behalf of the crew and everyone here at WestJet, thanks for flying with us today. We look forward to welcoming you on board again soon and have a fabulous Sunday. That just about wraps up today's trip experience. If you have any questions or comments about flying with WestJet, flying on a Q400, entering Canada, or anything travel related, please post those questions below. I always like to respond. And a reminder that I do do a live stream every Saturday morning, unless I'm on the road traveling. You can always bring your travel related questions there. Come on in. I think we have a good time with the crew that we've got.
there was a small delay waiting for the jet bridge. I'm not quite sure if the gate agent uh, was somewhere else. This part of the airport was pretty deserted. Let's get inside. Like a great big worm. It's gonna eat, worm. eat the airplane. Made it to Calgary. One more connection to Winnipeg. Hopefully clearing customs doesn't take too terribly long. Follow the purple signs. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> 